spring is in the air. But your garage? Well, that's still in the winter dumps. Hey, I'm Rob North, and today I'm gonna show you how to whip that garage into shape with some space-saving project builds and the Craftsman Pro Series Power Washer. First, move everything out of the garage and into the driveway so we can evaluate the damage. If it's on the floor, it's got to go. As expected, the winter weather has really taken a toll on this concrete floor. Let's start by giving it a good sweep with a push broom with rigid bristles. Be sure to put some muscle behind it to clear out as much loose debris as you can. Time to bring in the big dog, the Pro Series Power Wash. This monster sits in a fully welded frame and pumps out water at up to 3,600 PSI. And that's some pressure right there. The vibration isolation powertrain minimizes vibrations from the Honda GX engine. And the triplex pump provides adjustable pressure regulation so you can blast away gunk on the floor. And if you need a little extra cleaning power, soap it down with the Perfect Mix soap siphon system. Add a new bottle and start spraying. The pre-measured amount gives you just the right amount of suds. And the 35-foot high-pressure hose is long enough to get every nook and cranny of your garage. Now that the garage is clean, we can consolidate some of that stuff that was on the floor. I built some simple beams that when installed will provide some overhead storage space. Each beam is made up of a two by four with cuts of plywood attached to the top and bottom. The middle beam will have a letter I shape and the two outer beams will be shaped like the letter C. The key is to space your beams the width of the storage containers. Find joists in the ceiling, mark your layout, and screw in the beam. You want the lip of the container to sit flush on the bottom plot. This will allow the container to slide in and hang securely. Only thing left to do is put your stuff into the bins and then slide them into position. Click now to learn how to build your own set of overhead storage beams. Every garage needs a workbench. But sadly, most don't have the real estate for it. A cool solution is a custom workbench that hinges to the wall and folds up and out of the way when not being used. The tabletop is cut from three quarter inch plywood that sits on a two by four frame. The legs are two by fours with support braces attached with T-hinges. The bench attaches to a bracket that screws into the wall. Find your studs and screw two two by sixes into the wall at the proper height. These will create enough clearance for the bench to fold up against the wall through the bracket into the two by sixes. Now, you've got a workbench when you want it and a space when you don't. Click now to learn how to build your own foldable workbench. If you really want to go the extra mile, build a simple frame around some pegboard. Find your studs, add a couple of screws, and then hang all of your tools with a pegboard hook set. Click now to learn how to make your own framed pegboard. Check out the Craftsman Pro Series Power Washer or to discover more project builds to help keep your garage organized.